Man, the last video I make is about running in warmer weather, and then here we are, 30 something degrees again today. Thanks everybody for being patient while I was spending time with the family this past Easter weekend. Uh, it's a lot of good stuff going on seeing them. But uh, we're back out running today and on camera. So I just want to recap once I get back inside, at least the long run from this weekend. A few extra thoughts on the shoe that I was wearing this weekend. So it'll be a little bit of a summary video of the mileage that I covered while I wasn't posting anything on YouTube. So just been a three day or four day break, I guess. And uh, I appreciate you all sticking around. So we'll cover that, get back into it. And uh, it's good to be back. This hot weather, switching to cold weather, switching to hot weather, back and forth, back and forth. It's kind of annoying. I don't mind running in hot or cold weather alone, but the back and forth just makes it uncomfortable and difficult to figure out, you know, how your body's gonna feel now because you put the gloves away, you take them out, you put shorts on, you need long pants again, and you don't know how your body's gonna feel in 45 versus 40 when you're coming from 80. Just makes it more tough. I'm ready for everything to sort itself out, pick one direction and have one temperature going forward or at least a steady, steady incline. So, but we're almost done. So I'll break down this uh, run here in just a second. We'll recap the weekend. So that run came out to about 9.28 per mile, 9.30 per mile. I'll throw the run up on your screen now, but more than anything, want to get inside. I have more to say about running over the weekend. So take a look at everything, but let's get inside. And again, I'll just recap uh, Easter weekend. All right, I'm feeling nice and refreshed, showered off. So like I said, this is kind of uh, the first video in a few days, I guess. I've just been spending time, you know, really focusing on family and everything since I went out to Long Island. And I kind of mentioned, I guess, last Thursday that I might be, you know, spending some time just with them, not really recording everything. Uh, caught a part of my youngest brother's baseball game. He had a triple and a, home, a grand slam actually in that game. Uh, and obviously just spending time with family eating during Easter, uh, just a couple birthdays over the weekend. So it was a lot of family stuff. And you know, what I noticed immediately at the baseball game is, uh, even though I haven't had this channel for more than a year yet, everything I see starts to turn into like, where can I film this from? What angle can I get? And it's nice to just turn that off for a little bit, especially when I wanted to focus on a family weekend. So that's kind of the reasoning behind it and you know, getting the runs in that I have to, but just kind of rushing through it, getting it done and getting back to family. So that was nice for this past weekend. Uh, the run that I want to focus on is just going over the run from Saturday. I switched my long run from Sunday to Saturday. It just worked out better in the schedule. So we'll go over that now. So Sunday's run was 11 miles long. 
Uh, it was kind of like the long run for the week. And it's the longest that I've run in a little while without actually racing, uh, kind of like this weekend. We've got a half marathon that I'm going to treat kind of as a fast-paced, long effort. Uh, I'm not going to go all the way to race pace, so we'll talk about that soon later this week. Uh, but it was just an opportunity, again, to do a nice, easy, steady, long run. Uh, I started off nice and slow, but overall the average came out to about 9.38 per mile. So that's a pretty good clip for me. Uh, nice, you know, steady pace, really pushed a little bit more in the second half actually had a little bit of stomach cramping going on around mile seven uh, and then was able to just work through that and actually speed up at the end of the like last three miles I'd say for the workout the heart rate was nice and low so the good thing is I'm seeing that nice turnaround from you know racing uh, not only the New York City half marathon, but then some of the other little races that have come in between. I'm seeing that my legs and everything are really truly refreshed. My heart rate is nice and low, even during an 11 mile effort now. And the other cool thing is I got a chance to try out <coughs> the Carbon X2 on a longer run. And you know, I'll talk about this shoe probably after this weekend we'll be at 50 miles. So I'll do a full review on the shoe itself. But all I'll just confirm now is that although I was kind of harsh on the shoe in my initial review, it's really just harshness towards it being an elite, you know, marathon or half marathon racing shoe, but it is solid in my long runs uh, after what I felt on 11, uh, the 11 mile run. So I'll continue to use this for my long run efforts. It's still going to be a solid choice for me. And, you know, again, we'll just track how the wear is on that outsole, seeing as it's more like a rubberized EVA and not a true rubber outsole. So we'll keep an eye on that. But the good news is it is going to work as the long run shoe for me. It's a nice stable platform. And obviously it got me through the 11 miles pretty easily if my average heart rate didn't even tip over the 140 beats per minute for myself. That's fairly low, uh, especially at a 938 per mile pace. So that's all I'll say for today. I don't want to talk too much about just other stuff uh, from the weekend, but it's just good to be back and know that I will be continuing to film going forward as my training uh, progresses for the New York Roadrunners Brooklyn Half Marathon. But again, this weekend is a fun race at the New York City Runs Brooklyn Half Marathon, which I'm excited to see. Uh, the weekend after that is the Mount Beacon Half Marathon, which again is a fun run, but is going to be a brutally difficult effort for me, having not really run in the mountains before. And then we will be cruising into a nice normal long run and our taper for the actual peak race, which again is the New York Roadrunners Brooklyn Half Marathon. So that's everything. Good to be back. Thanks, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you've made it this far, and I hope to see you in the next video.